there's been a lot of nefarious activities, and it's never involved bitcoins. We're going to make sure that bitcoin doesn't become the equivalent of Swiss numbered bank account. Cryptocurrencies spook a lot of countries because they offer a completely separate payment system. Africa's leading global cryptocurrency adoption, and it's markets like Nigeria. Nigeria recently ordered all financial institutions to identify people in banks making crypto transactions and ensure that such accounts are closed immediately. Hopefully, you know, this, this is not a uh, final ban and, and maybe over the next six, three to six months, there's some some positive progress. India's top financial regulator recently asked banks to sever ties with all crypto exchanges, causing an avalanche of issues all over the country. However, that doesn't mean crypto is fully banned outright in either country. Peer-to-peer -peer transactions are still legal, and crypto is extremely popular in both countries, especially among younger generations. Bitcoin is about freedom, so India's kind of stepping away from the future. Nigeria and India's trepidation for crypto is driven by a concern about their citizens' financial stability due to malicious activity in the crypto world and the volatility of crypto markets themselves. Other governments are going even further. Belarus, under the direction of authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko, is aiming to take more control over digital currency and driving many IT entrepreneurs out of the country in the process. Massive peaceful protests have gripped Belarus calling for an end to what's known as Europe's last dictatorship. Bitcoin played a huge part in the anti-corruption protest after the last controversial election by circumventing traditional systems and surveillance, which Lukashenko wants to squash if possible. Although it's not 100% clear he fully understands how cryptocurrency works. Mining and other firms to create... Wait, let's take the atom station. We take the use of electricity. I leave the place there. China has been steadily rolling out more restrictions on crypto recently, creating a huge market dip after reiterating stances from 2013 and 2017 that banned financial institutions from handling crypto. Most of China's concern is capital flight, or people using crypto to move money outside their borders. China is simultaneously creating their own state-run cryptocurrency that will more likely than not be used as a surveillance tool. But that's a story for another time. Last but never least is Russia, where public officials were banned from using crypto last year. Meanwhile, crypto has been a fundraising tool for civil rights activists and independent journalists who are working against the state narrative. As crypto markets rise and continue to disrupt global finance, this is probably only the beginning of countries trying new ways to control their influence.